We're going to make a mould of this little um, scrapbooking flower so we can make multiples of it. So what we need is a couple of mixing cups, our kit of pinky seal, res uh, pinky seal silicon, part A and part B. Um, what I've done is taken a cup and I've already cut it uh, using a Stanley knife. Um, and this crea is created a uh, mould box. Um, so uh, we've got a dish for our silicon. I've put some plasticine at the bottom. Um, this can just be an oil-based clay. Uh, you could also glue your piece down and that's mainly because when I set my piece that I want to mould, it won't float up into my silicon. So I press that in place and make sure it sticks. I've left enough room on the outside so I've got enough space for my silicon to take up all the detail. So make sure that you really press it in place. And a plastic cup or a um, butter container or any container that's not too large because you don't want too much wastage on the outside. So Pinky Sill is a two part silicon. Um, it's equal parts by volume. So uh, you don't need any scales, you just measure out part A and B. If I didn't have enough when I made my mould, I can make up a second batch, so I'm not measuring how much I actually need, I'm just making a guess. So part A is white, and part B is pink, and we always Measure these out in two separate cups so we can be accurate with how much we need. If you use a measuring cup with a line, that um, will make it even more accurate. So I take part A. my mixing cup and part B set aside those two mm. cups that I measured in case I need a second batch. Pinky seal is really easy to mix because of the two different colours. It's really easy to see if you haven't mixed it sufficiently because there'll be a little streak of white or pink on the bottom. So it's really important that there isn't any streaks before you actually pour it a mould. We only ever pour silicon over our piece. Um, we'd never push our piece into a silicon mould or a silicon rubber because um, uh, the air bubbles that are rising to the surface will affect the detail of that mould. Now if you've still got a lot of um, white streaks at the bottom of your cup, you could pour into another cup uh, and give it another, another extra mix. We only ever use a tongue depressor or um, a, um, a white uh, spatula at this, about this size if we were mixing a bigger batch. Um, we don't use things like skewers or forks to mix our silicon because you really just can't get A and B mixed sufficiently. So I'm happy with how much I've mixed my silicon. And in a small stream, just allowing for some of the air bubbles to break as they come out the surface, I just go down in one side and I cover my piece. I'm going to cover it about um, 
10, 15 mil over, just so your mould's nice and sturdy. Oops. And any pores that go over the top of the cup like that can just be peeled off because that silicon will set. So in uh, 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature, uh, which is 24 degrees uh, Celsius, uh, that will set. And I would actually be removing a silicon mould that will finish off like that, ready to accept um, uh, resin. We would want to leave that silicon rubber mould uh, overnight to really cure completely to get um, maximum amount of pores out of it. Uh, but if you wanted just to do one or two pieces uh, and uh, time, uh, you were re restricted with time to get these pieces out, you could um, pour straight in that mould uh, an hour or two later. We've left our mould uh, for about 30 minutes to set. We know it's ready to go. It's going to be a little hard to pull the silicon out of the cup, so I'll just slice down the side. Make it a little bit easier. Doesn't matter about this bit of silicon that's come down underneath because I can cut that with um, a pair of scissors or a knife. And I remove my object and cut away a little bit of that. So the silicon mould's now ready to accept a fast cast resin, wax, uh, fondant, clay, plaster, a number of different um, uh, materials and can be used over and over again.